breaking first uranium one indictment unsealed maryland man indicted on 11 counts of bribery and uh, fraud by jim ha for the gatewaypundit.com on friday doj officials in the district of maryland announced mark lambert from mount airy maryland was indicted on 11 counts related to foreign bribery the charges stem from an alleged scheme by lambert to bribe vadim mccarran a russian official at jsc tech snobex port uh 10x actually okay fbi informant william d campbell told reporters in november yeah what happened to him that he has a video of briefcases full of money in the Uranium One bribery case. Campbell says uh, he is in fear of his life uh, since uh, he was outed by the Sessions Department of Justice to the liberal media. Justice.gov reported an indictment against a former co president of a Maryland-based transportation company that provides services for the transportation of nuclear materials to customers in the United States and abroad was unsealed today for his alleged role in a scheme that involved the bribery of an official at a subsidiary of Russia's State Atomic Energy Corporation. Acting Assistant Attorney General John P. Cronin of the Justice Department's Criminal Division Acting U.S. Attorney Stephen F. M. Uh, Schenning of the District of Maryland, Principal Deputy Inspector General April G. Stevenson of the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Inspector General's DOE OIG, and Assistant Director in Charge Andrew W. Vale of the FBI's Washington, D.C. field office made the announcement. Mark Lambert, 54 of Mount Airy, Maryland, was charged in an 11-count indictment with one count of conspiracy to violate the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act and to commit wire fraud, seven counts of violating the uh, Foreign Corrupt Practices Act two counts of wire fraud and one count of international promotion uh, money laundering. The charges stem from an alleged scheme to bribe uh, Vadim McCarran, a Russian official at JSC, 10X, a subsidiary of Russia's State Atomic Energy Corporation and the sole supplier and exporter of Russian Federation Uranium and uranium enrichment services to nuclear power companies worldwide in order to secure contracts with 10x. The case against Lambert is assigned to U.S. District Court Judge Theodore uh, D. Chong uh, of the District of Maryland. According to the indictment beginning at uh, least as early as 2009 and continuing until October of 2014, Lambert conspired with others at the uh, Transportation Corporation A to make corrupt and fraudulent bribery kickbacks payments to offshore bank accounts associated with shell companies at the direction of and for the benefit of a Russian official, Vadim McCarran, in order to secure improper business advantages and obtain and retain business with 10x. In order to effectuate and conceal the corrupt and fraudulent bribe uh, payments, Lambert and others allegedly caused fake invoices to be prepared purportedly from 10X to Transportation Corporation A that described services that were never provided, and then Lambert and others caused Transportation Corporation A to wire the corrupt payments for those purported services to shell companies in Latvia, Cyprus, and Switzerland. Lambert and others also allegedly used code words like lucky figures, LF, lucky numbers, and cake to describe the payments in emails 
to the Russian officials at his personal email account. The indictment also alleges that Lambert and others caused Transportation Corporation A to overbill 10x by building the cost of the corrupt payments into their invoices and 10x thus overpaid the Transportation Corporation A service. In June of 2015, Lambert's former co-president, Darren Condry, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to violate the FCPA and commit wire fraud, and Vadim McCarran uh, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit money laundering involving violations of the FCPA. It's, uh, it seems that, uh, but when did they arrest this guy? On Friday, DOJ officials. Okay, because uh, they started saying some dates over here. I can't find it. According to, yeah, according to the indictment beginning at least as early as 2009 and continuing until October 2014, Lambert conspired with others. Okay, and then Friday they got him. But what, what, where, where does uh, Campbell fit into this? Okay, he has the, that's what we heard in November, Campbell disappeared. Cam yeah, we know he feared for his life. I don't know, this is like kind of uh, confusing. Was this, did this take place because of Campbell's uh, information? They don't state that in the article. Um, well, we'll keep you updated if uh, anything else comes up. But uh, so Friday, they uh, the DOJ officials got this guy Lambert on eleven counts. Maybe it ties in. Maybe Campbell is undercover and giving them info because he does fear for his life, because all of a sudden we were waiting, for, he said he was going to release, he had videos of, uh, the, uh, of Clinton, and all of a sudden he disappeared. So, um, yeah, they probably put him in, in uh, hiding in order to get all these things slowly done, but why not start with Hillary first? That's what I'd like to know. Why not start with her? You know, everybody's waiting for her to go down, you know? She's the culprit in all of this. So they're getting Lambert. Like, everybody is getting the small fries. You know, the small fries are not what concern us at this point. We want the big fries, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.